हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल यू आर लर्निंग विद डॉक्टर शोभा निकम बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड एट द एंड इफ यू फील दिस वीडियो इज रियली यूजफुल देन शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड प्रेस द लाइक बटन सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट मॉट टेन रिपल अप काउंटर सो रिपल काउंटर मीन्स असिंक्रोनस काउंटर असिंक्रोनस काउंटर इज वेर external clock is connected to only one flip flop and output of first flip flop act as clock input to second it means single external clock is not connected to all flip flops then this is up counter so it will count in upward direction it will start counting from 0 0 0 this is mod 10 counter it means number of states are 10 number of states we represent them by using capital n they are 10 10 means what range of counting is from 0 to 9 0 to 9 it start it will start counting from 0 and it will go up to 9 other thing is how to write number of flip flops next thing is you need to identify number of flip flops so in in exam if question is to design mod 10 counter then you need to write these three steps first number of states range and number of flip flops so number of flip flops you can there are two methods to uh, identify the number of flip flops one is how to write this nine in binary 1 0 0 1 so how many bits are there four bits if number of bits are four it means we need four flip flops this is first method because one flip flop can only store one bit of data so for four bits we need four flip flops other method is n the formula for counting number of flip flops is n that is number of states are less than and equals to 2 raised to n so if i'll put value of n as 3 then 2 raised to 3 is 8 and number of states are 10 so 10 is not less than and equals to 8 so what i'll do i'll put value 4 so this is 10 less than and equals to 16 so this uh verifies the condition so n is equals to 4 number of flip flops are 4 next step is you need to draw the state diagram state diagram means it tells us through which states our circuit moves so states are from 0 to 9 so it will start from 0 0 0 then it will go to 0 0 0 1 then it will go to 0010 that is 2 then 0011 3 then 0100 that is 4 and 1001 that is 9 and again it will go back to 0 so it will start counting from 0 and it will count up to 9 and then again it will go back to 0 in case of mod 13 suppose example is mod 13 then what will uh, happen it will start counting from 0 and it will end up at 12 0 to 12 in case of mod 7 mod 7 is 0 to 6 you just need to identify number of states range and number of flip flops so i can use either in case of asynchronous counters we use generally t flip flops or jk flip flops so here i'll use jk flip flop design will remain same only the difference is in jk flip flop we connect both j and k inputs to logic 1 so that next state output is complement of present state output in case of t flip flops you need to connect t input to logic 1 that's it so our number of flip flops are 4 so i'll first draw four flip flops so these are my four jk flip flops they have inputs j k and outputs are q and q bar the flip flop which receives external clock suppose the external clock is connected to my first flip flop it acts as least or it generates least significant bit so if i'll write my bits as q0 q1 q2 and q3 in that case this becomes least significant bit q0 q0 bar j0 k0 here it comes j1 k1 q1 
क्यू वन क्यू वन बार जे टू के टू क्यू टू एंड क्यू टू बार जे थ्री के थ्री क्यू थ्री एंड क्यू थ्री बार दिस इज माई रिपेल काउंटर सो ह्योर वॉट आई डू आई एल कनेक्ट इनपुट जे एंड के टू वी सी सी जे जीरो एंड के जीरो आर शॉर्टेड ऑल जे एंड के इनपुट आर शॉर्टेड एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड टू वी सी सी और लॉजिक वन All of them are connected to VCC or logic one. This is my up counter. In case of up counter, the in output of first flip flop act as clock input to next flip flop. Whereas in case of down counter, the inverted output of first flip flop act as clock input to second. So here I'll connect Q zero to clock input of next Q one. And Q two, so that it will count in upward direction. So you need to remember here the clock is external clock for first flip flop, but for seven uh, second flip flop, Q zero acts as clock. Now this counter, this counter will count from zero to fifteen, because naturally it has four flip flops, so it will count from zero. To fifteen total sixteen states, but I don't want to count up to fifteen. What I want, I want to count up to nine only, zero to nine. And what is binary equivalent of ten? It is one zero one zero. So as soon as output will try to become one zero one zero, my circuit should reset. So what I'll do, I'll take one NAND gate. I will take one NAND gate, and I'll connect. Inputs which are one to inputs of NAND gate. Sorry, outputs which are one. So here this is Q zero, Q one, Q two, and Q three. Here Q three is one, Q one is one. So I'll connect Q one and Q three to input of that NAND gate. Q one. And Q three, so that what will happen when this Q three and Q one both will become one? NAND gate will receive one one at the input. It will make output zero. This is exactly opposite to AND gate. And what we will do? We will connect it to the clear input of flip flop. We'll connect output of that NAND gate to clear input. See, in every flip flop there are preset. and clear inputs present they are asynchronous inputs it means as soon as they'll receive value they'll not wait for any clock input and they will change the output sometimes they are active high sometimes they are active low meaning of active high is when they'll receive one they will act active low is when they will receive zero it means when these clear inputs will receive zero then they will act here bubble indicates active low so what will happen when q3 and q1 both will become one output of this nand gate will become zero and these clear inputs will receive zero so when these clear inputs will receive what is meaning of clear it will clear all the contents so as soon as these clear pins will receive zero they will not check what present output is what clock input is they will simply make your output zero that's it and in case of preset what happens in preset when preset receives zero if it is active low when preset receives zero it will make your output 1 1 1 Preset means it sets output to one. Clear means it clears the contents of the flip flop. Here, what we will do? We will connect our preset to VCC. Why? Because we don't want to set any value. We will disable it. These are active low. It means if they'll receive zero, they'll do their job. If they'll not receive zero, if they'll receive high instead of that, then what will happen? They'll not do any job. So we'll connect presets to VCC and output of NAND gate to clear. So in this way, we can design mod n counter. Here our value was mod ten. 
so we took 101010 in case of mod suppose 12 what is binary equivalent of 12 so it will count from 0 to 11 so for 12 this is the value so what i'll do i'll connect q3 and q2 to input of nand gate so the inputs the outputs which are one will go to input of nand gate in this way you need to remember now let's see the timing diagram so timing diagram tells us how my output changes based on my input see counter is a circuit which counts number of clock pulses so here if you look into this diagram this is my negative age triggered flip flop arrow indicates age and bubble indicates negative age it means my output will change at every negative age negative means falling age 1 to 0 transition then i have four outputs q0 q1 q2 and q3 so i'll check what their values are based on clock initially let's assume all outputs are zero q0 q1 q2 and q3 all are zero then in case of jk flip flop when both inputs are connected to logic 1 it means you know to table of jk flip flop 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so here next state remains same as present state 0 1 and when both inputs are connected to 1 then next state is complement of present state we are interested in this condition only because our both inputs are connected to logic 1 for every flip flop so what is my present state present output is 0 so my next state will become 1 up to next clock age at next clock age again it will check what is my present output my present output is 1 so next state output will become 0 so output will keep on toggling now see here what is clock input to my second flip flop to calculate q1 clock is q0 so we'll check negative ages of q0 so these are negative ages of q0 so here here and here my next output will change so up to this negative age this will remain zero here again in first flip flop q1 also j and k are connected to logic 1 so present state was zero so next state will remain will become 1 and it will remain 1 up to next negative age so here is next negative age now this is not negative age for q1 because this is not connected to q1 similarly for q2 now q1 will act as clock input so at negative ages of q1 here and here my q2 will change so up to first negative age it will remain zero and here it will become one and it will remain one up to next negative age and here again it will become zero similarly for q3 the first negative age is here up to that it remains zero and here it will become one so it is 4 times 0 here it is 00010010011010011010011010011010011 so see i'll write it here q3 is msb so 0000 4 times zeros then here triple zero 1 here it becomes 0010 0, here it becomes 0011 0, that is 3 then 0100 is 4 0101 one is 5 0110 is 6 zero triple one is 7 here it is 1000 that is 8 One triple zero is eight, and here 
वन जीरो जीरो वन दैट इज नाइन After that nine, when number becomes nine, a NAND gate will work, and output of that NAND gate is connected to clear input. So what will happen? This clear will clear the contents and will make all our outputs zero. So what have what will happen here? Your output will become zero. So all zeros. And again, after all zeros, it will repeat in this manner. so this is the timing diagram of mod 10 asynchronous up counter uh, i hope uh, this will be useful to you in your exams thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel thank you